you are aiming for grade nine in GCSE maths, then this is how you can do it. When you're in the exam, remember the grade boundaries. You can afford to lose roughly 15% of the marks and still get a grade nine. So if you are really struggling with the question, then just move on. Don't feel like you have to get every single mark in every single question. Get comfortable with the easy bits. So often students that aim for the top grades don't spend any time on the easy stuff. When they come up in the exam, they lose the marks. In the exam, marks are marks. It doesn't matter if they come from easy questions or from hard questions. Get strategic. The easy questions are at the front of the paper and then the hard questions are at the back of the paper, meaning you do the hardest questions when you're tired. So try doing the paper in two different ways and see what works best for you. Try one paper starting at the back, doing the hardest questions first when you're feeling most awake and then do the easy ones last when you're tired or try a different paper a different way. Do you want the immediate confidence boost from getting some easy marks as soon as you get into the exam and doing the harder questions later? Hence is your new favourite word. This is the examiner telling you you need to use information from a previous part of the question. So you might be in part E and have to go back to part A to find the information, but the examiner isn't giving you a gift here. If you are stuck on a question, then just move on. Have a quick click through the paper at the start and see if your favourite topic comes up and then start on that question. Don't think you need to start at the beginning of the paper and work your way through in linear order. You can start wherever you want to. Practice, practice, practice. Do as many past questions as you can, which is why in our boot camps and our master's classes, you can see the Edexcel and the AQA papers. You can do both of those. Also in there, Charlotte will walk you through how to answer the questions to lay things out clearly for the examiners. Pictures and highlighters are one of your best tools. Taking the information in the question and reframing it in a different way will help your brain process and understand the information you've been given. The angles and forces, you can highlight these or sketch out a diagram if you haven't been given one. The examiner is overworked and underpaid, probably working really late at night. Make their life easy and work down the page in a logical manner. Leaving gaps, putting boxes around things when you finish with them, put your answer on the answer line or circle it, highlight it, make it stand out. If you make a mistake, just write a single line through it. Don't try and write over it. This will make it really hard for the examiner to see what you mean. Then write the entire thing out in the line below in full. This way the examiner can try and give you as many marks as possible. If you cross out something that was correct and don't write anything else, they can try to give you marks. Read every question twice and then again, then go through and use highlighters to pull out information. Read it, look at what the examiner's looking for and highlight it in different colours. Use your calculator. You have one for a reason. If you, if you can do it in your head, in times of stress, you might make silly mistakes. Make sure it's in the correct setting and reset your calculator before you go in. Check that it is not in radians. Do not rush. It is better to go a bit slower, checking your working, the pick up and careless mistakes. Everyone misses a minus sign in a calculation every once in a while. Do not rush through and miss those easy marks. So if you're aiming for a grade nine, that is what I suggest that you do. You can go and look at our predictive papers and our walkthroughs and see how we want you to lay out all of your working. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like explain scratches.